Next comes another important thing, properties validation. What do you mean by properties validation? We'll take the same examples and understand. Say I'm getting in some property here. What I will perform here is I'll just pass in a string. Let's, uh, let's pass a string here. Uh, I will say faculty school is spoke, something like this. I'll pass a string. And what is that I'm going to re receive here is a string. And how will I print this string out? This, this faculty is from, how will I print this string out? Is from, what is that you have to say? Props.school. Say, what is that we are expecting here? What kind of data should be coming in here? The data we are expecting here, what, what, what should be coming in, coming in here? The data we are expecting is, of type string. This function should get string type data. And uh, there should be some validation for this. If the user sends a number, if the caller sends in a number, we don't need that, right? So we should generate some warnings. How will you generate warnings? By validating the input. So what is that we are going to perform here is we will validate the input and generate warnings if it's not matching. So how to validate input for this we are going to use packages. That package is called prop types. So we should download and install prop types first. How will you install prop types package? So this is the command go to your project folder npm install prop types. So this package we are going to use to write some validations for our input. Run this. So let's uh, see how to write validations here. I'll give you an a, I'll uh, give you an example. Say there is this component that's getting in a string that's of type string and it's a name. Now how will I validate this? I'll give component name dot prop types is equal to in parenthesis whatever I'm going to display that is name colon prop types dot string. I'm expecting a string dot is required as the input is mandatory. If you're calling this component, this string type input is mandatory. That's it. This is how you validate this. If they send in a number, it will not throw an error. It will generate a warning. Let's go to this. Let's try with our own faculty. Say what is that we are going to get here is props of type string. How will you write something for this? The component name is display faculty dot prop types. So even before uh, writing this validations here, the very first step is we have to import prop types from prop types. So this import is mandatory. Only then those validations we can write. We have to import prop types. So how to write the validations now? Display faculty dot. It's a small letter. A pure op types. Here prop types p is lower case. And what is that we are going to display here? School. So that you have to give school colon. Here prop types p is capital letter dot is dot string dot is required r is caps there. So this is what we are expecting. That's what is the meaning here. So you write for a component what kind of property you are expecting. We are expecting a string that is mandatory. And how will you call this component? You pass that string. Let's go to the output. Let's check. This is Welcome to VIT University. The faculty is from Scope. Working fine. If you pass some number here, say constant 30 is equal to some number 1000. And if I'm passing that number here, say if I pass this number 1000, I mean T, what's happening? We're just printing this. So there are no issues here.
this is what I told you. When there are some mismatches, it will not throw you errors. It will throw you a warning. So that warning is there. Failed prop type, invalid prop school of type number supplied to display faculty, which is expecting a string. So these things you can capture in the development stages itself, whether your props are really working. So you can very well. What is that you have to pass here? You have to pass only a string. Are you all clear with how to write validations? Can we take, uh, see, you can also pass multiple arguments. Can you pass multiple arguments here? School is spoke, address, address is velour. How will you write validations for this? You're just going to come here. Here, what is that you are displaying? This faculty is from Scope School and address is from addresses. What you will display here? Props dot address. If I want to write some validations for this, how will I write the validations? You go here and then you give a comma. You access address. What is that you are going to write? Props types dot string. Now I am not making it required. While we are calling this component, this specific address can be optional. Now when I run this, let me check the output. This faculty is from scope and address is well low. You don't have any warnings generated here because the props match the validation criteria. There's one more thing called default props. There's one more thing called default props. I'll just say what is default props here. And uh, then we'll come to other things. So there's one more thing called default props. What is a default prop? See, I said address is optional. If I don't pass address, if I don't pass address, or if I don't pass this uh, school anything, if I'm not passing any of these attributes, some default value should be populated. It's like your default parameters. If you don't pass those values, some default parameters default value should be populated. We'll understand this with an example. Say, if I'm not getting in address, I'll populate some default address. For this, I, I should use some default props. So it is display faculty dot. Now it is not prop types, it's default props. And what is that we are going to do here is, we are going to say address. You say, if he's not from Bellur, he is from US. So this is the default props. What is that I'm saying? If address is not passed, then by default you say is from US. Let's go to index.js. We will remove this address value. So we are not passing address, which is an optional field. Now it checks. Okay, it's optional. It comes to default props. Address is not there. So what will be the address shown to the user? US. Let's check the output. Address is US. So that's the use of default props in props validation. You'll get a warning. You'll not get an error. You'll get the output, but only warnings will be generated for the engineers to check. Are you clear with default props? See, I struggled in two places here. One is I gave a capital P here since I thought prop types is a caps P. It generated an error. So again, default props D is a lowercase letter. And I, when I was importing, I just gave dot slash prop types. That was also wrong. It's prop iPhone types. So without import, I tried. I got an error. So I learned it that we have to import it. Are you all clear with uh, default props? Now, I have a question for you. Can you pass an object and validate it? Pass an object. The object, say which object I will pass here. Say I will pass an object like this constant. Say he has taken some courses. We will pass that course to this display faculty. Say what we will call this object as course and then we will say course name. We will say C name is uh, Java. That should be of type string. So your validation for CNAME should be type string. 
and there's a course id say id is number 1 to 3 this should be of type number so when you are getting in an object you should validate whether course name is string course id is number if the user is not passing an object if the caller is not giving an object default object should be populated the value should be course name should be test1 id should be test1 uh, id should be 0 something like that can you write code for this wherein you send in an object and you validate that object for these values so how will you pass an object to your uh, component say i'll say this courses and within the parenthesis i'll call this course so i'm passing this object how will i validate this inside this display faculty dot prop types and uh, how to print the faculty taught whatever courses we'll print that here the faculty taught what is that he has taught? It is uh, props dot courses dot c name and course ID is what is that course ID is? How will you write this? Props dot courses dot ID, right? Now how will you validate this? Display faculty dot prop types. How will you validate an object? That's a little different. So what is the object you're getting here? The object name is courses. So you give courses and then you have to give prop types dot shape. So you have to call this method. It's a validation map, mostly key value pairs validation. You have to use this method and you have to give curly parenthesis semicolon here. Inside this method, what is the first attribute you're getting here is C name. Now that thing prop types dot is string dot string dot is required the next attribute that's coming in is an id what is this id all about it's validation prop types prop types dot number dot is required i think no need to give semicolon this is how you validate an object you have to use prop types dot shape within that you have to give the attributes and uh, if he's not passing an object if the caller is not passing an object what is that we have to do here we have to say use this object courses so c name will be test one and id will be zero if an object okay it's this is another error i normally make it's a colon here so this will be the default props let's execute this the course faculty taught is java and course id is 123 let's go to this id is 123 what we'll do here is uh, we will not pass this object then what should be the output if i'm not passing this object the output should be test 1 and 0 let's take a look at this output test 1 and 0 so what's happening here is default object is getting populated here can you validate an array here how will you validate an array can you send an array and then validate it let me close this see there are no errors no warnings here can you just validate an array can you convert this to an array courses let's say he has taught a list of courses say i have taught java I have taught Python, I have taught uh, JavaScript, so many courses. So now what we'll do is we'll pass this list of courses, like courses is equal to, how will you pass that? Course. Now you're passing an array. You have to perform some validations for your array. What validations you should perform is get only an array of strings. If the array is not passed, what is that you do? Give some default values, give some default array. How will you perform this? For this, first we will print the props dot courses of zero, we will print the first course in that array, right? We are accessing array elements here. You can use dot join like to populate all the courses. Next, what you do is you write some validations here. So here there's a small change. So what is that we are going to give here is for the array name is courses. 
and you have to give prop types dot array of we are expecting an array of strings so it's prop types dot string and it's required dot is required we are expecting an array of strings which is required next what we will do here is we will put some default props if he is not passing an array let's say course start is test1 comma test2 like that that's it we will check this output when we are passing this array the course start is java when we are not passing this array we don't pass an array object so default props will kick in and what will be the output here test1 so what is this default props if we are not passing an array this specific value inside this default array will be populated there are you clear with prop types and prop validation